Good morning. Uh, it occurs to me I have never uh, pulled the drawstrings on these bags uh, on video. It's a short project that I usually do while I'm watching TV or something, but I use kind of whatever for the drawstring. Uh, but the thing I've found that's usually routinely very cheap uh, and easy to deal with is uh, piping. So this is just decorative uh, woven uh, nylon decorative piping for fabric and sewing projects. And you can get it at the big craft stores uh, where it's relatively expensive, but I have a local fabric shop where I can get a whole 50 yard roll, a uh, new one for uh, like five bucks or six bucks, I think, uh, which compared to the uh, 50 cents or 99 cents a yard, at the major craft stores is obviously much cheaper. Um, and since I do a ton of these, a 50 yard roll is a good amount. Um, I opened this roll, I finished my old roll and opened this new roll working on the batch of bags I've been doing here, so it's, I think 55 is the count of bags that I've done this time around, and this roll is already getting a bit low, so it takes quite a bit, but um, I pull with a safety pin, you know, simple trick, the way that everybody does it, or that a lot of people do it. Um, just push them through and scrunching along, scrunch everything up along the safety pin and pull. So scrunch this way and then grab the top of the pin and pull back. Hold the back of the pin, scrunch over it, pull back. And now I've gotten around to the thing here and the head of the pin went the wrong way around my seam, so it pushed in and it's not coming out, so I have to kind of get it to rotate. Uh, it doesn't want to come out, so I use a chopstick or something to poke in. Um, Still didn't get it. All right. Let's see. Make a make sure we're backed up, and then open this way and push there. All right. And then, because this is pretty slippery stuff, I use pony beads to build a closure on. Um, and I take the ends and I put it opposite way through the first bead, pull it down, and then I put a second bead on. Same thing, run the two tails the opposite way through the pony bead, and then tie the end. And then 
Uh, if you've got a nylon string you're using that you found, you can melt the ends with a lighter and get them. The polyester burns. So um, later when I'm done doing all these, I'll just take and I'll put a tiny dot of super glue onto the knot here and that way because this is real slippery uh, and especially if you trim these tails off short the knot can pop out because of how slippery the string is but with the two pony beads on it holds a little better on the string and keeps the bag shut so that is the way that I do the closures on these. So. And like I said, pulling the string through is just a fiddly thing that I can do while I'm watching TV or something. Which is why it's not appeared on the channels because it's hard to tape while it's while I'm just doing whatever or watching TV so I'm like this one came around and just came right out so sometimes you get lucky and other times you gotta probe around find the end and pull the ends through the pony beads like this and yeah and just said this is the thing that I found that was cheap that I was using for strings because again this whole project is just a busy little sewing project that keeps me that lets me buy cute fabric and then turn that fabric into something I can give away or move along or get rid of uh, so that I don't end up with a mountain of cute fabric around. And then I give them away at different gaming and D&D &D and whatnot events to help make people feel more welcome there. So... Uh, the one thing about this um, thread or this uh, piping material is that because it's a, oh, and that popped out right away too. Cool. Um, because it's a uh, woven material. If I try to poke it too close to the end with my pin, sometimes it'll pull loose while I'm pulling it. That's why you'll see me, when I pin it, I stick the pin through further down. That way it doesn't pull off the end of the safety pin while I'm running it through the drawstring passage. And of course, if you own something that has a drawstring and the drawstring ends have disappeared, uh, the safety pin is a good way to get the drawstring back, but you really just need anything stiff to connect to the end of it so that you can get it pushed through. Um, 